today we are going to learn all about how to select the right material during design design whether it's a product design or tool design or spm or robotics any design and this is one of the important pillars of design so how to select the right material what are the various factors affecting selection of right material maybe it may be a cost or maybe a functioning part or temperature atmospheric conditions and all so i want to share my screen imagine you are a design engineer and you have to select the right material so which are those important points you think so one by one we are going to understand all these factors and their relation with other points as well first of all we have to understand what is my requirement if you are designing a product like say engine mounting bracket you have to understand which are those failures that may occur so whether you have to go for a tensile strength that is more important for you or compressive or shear strength that you have to understand and as per that you have to select the right material so you have to consider other factors as well so when you want to go for a better strength other elements are also important like hardness then alloying elements right so when strength is important then you may have to go for a material like steel or you may have to go for a alloy steel we can say in that case other materials will not work so we'll understand it's a vast subject friends right from we can say wooden material then thermocol these are all engineering materials rubber plastic steel aluminum these are different kinds of materials and i'm going to give you some cool tips today how to focus on which material so one by one we are going to understand all these points second point is the accuracy what is that accuracy you want to achieve if your accuracy requirement is say 5 microns or 2 microns rubber material will not work wooden material will not work you have to go for a steel or say aluminum so once you understand the strength factor then you have to understand what is that accuracy you want to achieve now there are three terminologies here one is tolerance second is accuracy and third is quality they are similar terminologies tolerance is specifically to the dimension and geometry right we say geometric tolerance or we say dimensional tolerance but accuracy can be related to dimension may be related to speed temperature velocity and when we say quality quality is a broad perspective customer satisfaction means quality but they are very similar so we have to understand what is my requirement and if you are designing say die or tool you have to understand what is that accuracy you want to produce on the component then third important factor cost yes very important part and during interview designers interview this is one important question generally asked how you will reduce the cost of this product imagine you are a design engineer and you are you are working in product design field how you will reduce the cost of your product imagine you have to purchase a laptop so the first thing is all about your budget cost right then you will think about other parameters so which are those important points how you are going to save the cost of your product so you can change the material and who will help you in this purchase engineer earlier days maybe 20 25 years back what was the situation design engineer will design as per his knowledge he will release the drawing and there are so many problems during manufacturing assembling and proving of the product but nowadays there is a concept called as a pre en concept pre en means en means engineering notice means before releasing the drawing there is a cft that is cross functional team and you are discussing your design with with all these team members and who are the team members one is from production quality marketing purchase service materials department all these people will be there in your team so purchase engineer is the person who will guide you regarding material because he is every day in the market and he will suggest some good material he will say that put this material because this is less costly and giving the same strength or quality that is value engineering value engineering means you are improving the quality of the product keeping the same cost or 
you are reducing the cost of the product, keeping the same quality, that is value engineering. And one way is to change the material. Another way, you can change the process. If the component is produced by forging, you can produce it by casting. If it is produced by casting, it can be produced by sheet metal. If it is produced from sheet metal, it can be produced from plastic molding. So if you are changing the process, then also you can reduce the cost of the product. Then you can simplify the design. Means number of, we can say size, you can reduce. Number of parts, you can reduce. So if it is a say, steering gearbox geometry, steering geometry. Right from steering wheel up to tie rod and steering knuckle. Suppose there are 10 components. Can you simplify and make this design by using seven components? That should be your approach. Then you can go for resizing it. Sometimes you can delete the part as well. That is also the possibility because if you consider the product like a car, there are thousands of products. That means components are there. 4,000, 5,000 components are there. And sometimes there is a possibility that some part may not be useful. That also you have to understand. Coming to the next point, quantity. What is that quantity you want to produce? So if it is for prototype activity, you can go for different material. If you want to produce thousands of components, lakhs of components, the material could be different. Say, let us take one example of say aluminum. So I have one component here. I can show you this. So if you understand, suppose you want to produce 10 components. So I have one component here. So you can go for the process like sand casting. But if you want to produce say 1000 components or 10,000 components, then the process could be die casting. Now, as per that, different, different processes are also there. Like PDC is there, GDC is there. So again, which process you want to select, that also depends upon this. Next point, complex geometry, very important. Design engineers should understand what is that material that can produce such type of complex geometry, say aluminum. Aluminum material, what is the property of aluminum material? Excellent castability property. So here we have to understand various properties of material. So it can take any critical shape. Same is the case of cast iron. The name suggests that casting. It can take any critical shape. So when there is a possibility of critical shapes, you can produce by using aluminum or cast iron or SG iron to some extent steel. Because steel generally casting difficult to produce. There are some defects are there that we have to understand. So when you are designing your product and when you are focusing on the shape, you have to understand the limitations about the materials, different, different materials and their possibilities. Next point is surface finish. What is that quality you want to achieve on the product? If you want to go for a three triangle, that is, we can say 0.8 microns, then the material could be aluminum or steel. So requirement of surface finish and what is the possibility about that material, that study is very, very important. Coming to the next point, size of the part. Imagine you want to produce a component of 2 gram. 2 gram component, then the material, it's very difficult to machine, right? So you have to go for different, different processes. Like you can go for investment casting process. So investment casting process, then only steel alloys, some certain steel alloys you can produce, for example, if you want to produce a components of say size 8000 mm means 8 meter then you have to go for a different material definitely you can produce by using cast time so as per the size again limitations are there in such cases rubber material you cannot produce that component like plastic you will have some limitations that we have to understand then machinability if the component material is cast iron. It is giving good machinability compared to steel. Means machining time also you have to consider in such cases. Aluminium, excellent machinability property. So as per the material, this property you have to understand which is better for me. And it is not dependent only on one aspect or factor. Sometimes two, three factors also you have to consider and it should be a conscious decision. 
Next point is of manufacturing. This is called as a DFM. So we have to understand. Suppose the geometry is complex and you want to go for a particular machining process. Imagine there is a slot of width say 2 mm width, length is say 10 mm, and depth is say 6 mm. That is a cavity you want to produce. So in such cases, it is very difficult to machine it, right? So you have to go for EDM, that is electro discharge machining. So in such cases, if the process is changing, then the material should be as per that because other materials EDM process is not possible. Another point: sometimes it is not possible to machine that particular feature, so you may have to go for designing of the insert. Insert means a separate piece. you are fitting in that particular die or assembly so that it you can achieve that design for manufacturing so insert means separate piece you are machining and you are going for the fitment so in such cases also you have to understand other factors is it is this possible so that flexibility should be there if you are using a particular material so if it is a cast style and if some changes are required then you cannot go for welding because that is Uh, we can say the appearance will be affected customers dissatisfaction will be there all these aspects would be there coming to the next point ease of modification that we have to understand if some uh, changes are there in the product design and you are receiving the drawing from r and d as per that you have to go for some modifications so how it is easy if you are using this particular material that flexibility you have to go for this review next point wait now this is one constraint when you are going for some conventional methods like for example handling is the issue in such cases then weight is the constraint so like cast time or steel the density is say 7.8 gram per centimeter cube so in such cases can you go for lighter material like aluminum or rubber or plastic that you have to understand so product design engineer or tool design engineer has to understand all these aspects as per the different different we can say achievements coming to the next point life what is that life you want to achieve and for this you have to understand the life cycle of that particular product some components or products life cycle may be 20 years 30 years some products Three years, four years. Some products may be few months. As per that, material will change. And how you will understand this? This is again a design input. So if you are working in design department, you have to ask this question to your customer. What is that requirement? As per that, you can select the right material. Coming to the next point, availability. Right. So even though this is not a technical point, but you have to consider in COVID situation sometimes. it is not possible that it is available in the market so you have to go for alternate material that purchase engineer can guide you about that next working conditions working conditions like temperature pressure as per that sometimes if the temperature is very high plastic component or rubber component there is a possibility that it cannot function then you have to go for different material then that is a load condition as per that your material will be changing then atmospheric conditions suppose you are designing a car and the car can be used in different different states jammu and kashmir rajasthan chennai area or tamil nadu so if temperature conditions are different or atmospheric conditions are different then what is the effect on that particular material that also you have to understand so product design engineer has to understand all these points and this is not taking much time maybe within 10 15 minutes you can just go for this all these checklist points we can say and this all these points can be covered in the design review design review means when you are completing your design then with your seniors or your colleagues there is a design review session and some refinement can be done so whatever we have discussed today learn today go into the depth achieve the success and uh, i wish you all the best for your future endeavor Have a great day ahead. Thank you.